if you uh, haven't extracted the textures uh, from the Skyrim BSA, uh, go back and watch tutorial video 05. Uh, I had to slip that in because some individuals were having issues with installing NIFScope uh, plugin for 3ds Max and making it work. Uh, and during that tutorial uh, that I added in, uh, it's now tutorial 05, I added uh, how to extract the Skyrim textures using the Fallout Mod Manager. So make sure you've extracted and you have this texture folder on your uh, desktop called Skyrim Texture. Just follow the tutorial 05 and come back to this tutorial. Uh, if you've already done that, then don't even worry about it. Now, uh, we want textures to show like I have in my NIF scope. So, what you're going to do to get these textures to show in your window window is you're going to go up here to Render. You're going to click on uh, Render. You're going to go down to Settings in the drop down menu by left clicking on it. Now I want to add this folder to it, so what you're going to do is you're going to click Add Folder. It looks going to say Choose a Folder. You're going to go down here and you're going to click Folder. And you're going to select your desktop. Go to your desktop and find the Skyrim Texture. This is uh, the folder that we created in Tutorial 5. Skyrim Texture, select that and then go Select Folder. Uh, now you don't have to worry because any textures uh, that you had not showing before should show automatically and you just select X and now your textures are showing in your render window. So now what we want to do is we want to fix uh, remember when we had it in game in just that last tutorial if you weren't seeing the body texture you're going to want to fix it to where you can see the body textures in game. If you weren't seeing the armor textures in game now we're going to actually fix it to where you can see the armor textures in game. What happens is a lot of times when you export from 3ds Max a, um, an error will occur that causes the textures to get messed up and they don't show in game. It does, the armor's not messed up, everything's fine except the texture is messed up in its assignment in NIFScope. So we're going to fix that. Uh, in order to fix that, again, we had these two windows open. We're going to go ahead and open up two more windows because we're also going to fix a common error where NIFScope likes to uh, move the bones when it exports from 3DS and sometimes the hand won't look like it's matching up correctly to the body uh, in game. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this armor off of this body onto the original UMP body that has never been screwed with. It's the automatic original. All right. Anyways, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our UMP custom armors folder. Go to data, meshes, base body mesh, and you're going to double click on UMP, uh, the UMP female body underscore zero, or whatever zero sized uh, female body that you're using for these tutorials. Double click on that, and you're going to drag this one. Since this is zero, we're going to drag it in the upper right hand corner. Okay? And then we're going to reselect on our UMP custom armor folder, and we're going to double click on the female body underscore one. That's the large body size. And we're going to drag that over and we're going to put it in the lower left hand corner. You may have to resize the windows if you do, just get them to fit next to each other. So now if you look, what we've done is on the left hand side we have the small version of the armor We're on the small version of the body. And on the right hand side we just have the small version of the UMP's uh, body where all the uh, bone nodes are correct. All right. Uh, and you know, on the left hand side we have the large version of the UMP body with the large armor on it and, and on the right hand side we have the original uh, version of the UMP's large body. Uh, to move around in this window like you see me doing, if you left click and just kind of move your mouse it'll move things around. To zoom is the scroll wheel and to select certain parts you would just click on them and they kind of appear in your uh, drop down pane on the left hand side. Anyways, what we're going to want to do is the first thing in order to move this armor over into this original UMP body, we need to select the armor. That'll make it blue. Like, let's say I drop this out. If I select it, well, and select it, and I select it, huh, it's not doing it for me. Well, never mind about that. We'll just do this. Uh, now, if you look here and you click on NI node in the upper left hand window, you'll notice that the text says scene root. But if I click on the NI node in the uh, female body for the UMP, 
it'll say here in the text file BBE2 female body underscore zero. It's different than what you see here. If it's the same, skip this step. If it's not the same, we need to make it the same. Otherwise, this armor will not move over when we copy and paste it. So in order to change that, first we're going to click on this little TXT in the uh, right hand window and we're going to just uh, left click and drag over and we're gonna copy all of this make sure it's all blue and then hit control C then hit cancel then click on this text window drag it over and hit control V so all we're doing is just changing this name in this one to match this one so press OK now since we already have this copy we can just go ahead and do the same thing in the armor for the large body it'll be the same uh, we'll just select the NI node 0, select text, and drag over and hit control V so it says BBE2 female body and hit OK. So now they are identical. This is the same as this and this is the same as this. We want the NI node root node to be the same name otherwise again things will not copy over. Once that's done we can select the armor. Notice that it gets highlighted uh, each of these NI tri shapes are a different model inside the mesh. You see that's the body it highlights if I select it. And this is the armor. All we want is the armor. So we're going to select the armor, the NI tri shape, hit Control C, then go over here and always select the NI node when you're pasting armor. You know, select the NI node in their paint and hit Control V. And bam, now that armor is over into the uh, non-screwed up version of the UMP body. So we know for certain that this body is going to appear right with textures correctly applied to it in game. Now we're going to do the same thing down in this window. We're going to select the armor so we can locate it. It's in I try shape 8. Alright, now we're going to select that. We're going to hit control C. Then we're going to go over here and you always want to select the NI node 0 before you paste. Select the NI node 0 and hit control V and it'll paste the large version of the armor on the non-screwed up textured version of the uh, UMP body. All right, this this ensures that there are no texture issues anywhere on the body and there's no bone issues uh, where the bones may have been moved when exporting from 3ds Max. There's no issues with the bodies whatsoever by doing this. Now we got to fix the textures on the armor. All right, so we're pretty much done with these two windows, so we can go ahead and close them out. We're just going to close this window out. We're going to close this window out. And we need to locate the original texture file for this armor. Well, where did we get the armor from? If you remember, we saved the default body, uh, the, the default armor. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and minimize these two windows and open up your uh, UMP custom armors. Go to Data, Meshes, Armor, Hide, Female, and here's our originals. We only need one of them, so go ahead and double click Curious Light underscore zero. All right, should pop up uh, somewhere on your screen. Go ahead and drag it to the lower left hand corner if it's not already there, and then go ahead and re uh, get your other two to pop back up by clicking down here and then clicking on the one so we bring them back up. All right, bring these two back up. Now what we want to do is go ahead and grab this texture file from this original armor. To do that you just select it. We're going to drop down the list. We're going to select, uh, well, start from scratch. If there was nothing, you know, when you brought this up it probably looked like this. When you select the armor it's going to drop down the menu and show you exactly uh, which tri shape is the armor. And this is the one that we want. Okay, is this one here. Because the other one, that's the body. We don't want 43, we want 36. So you go, you make sure you have the armor selected and there'll be a little bitty arrow next to it. We're gonna drop that down, all right? And then we're gonna go down, we have the NI tri shape, that's the armor's mesh. We have the BS dismember skin instance tells the uh, Skyrim engine how to bend and stretch the armor. We took care of those two in 3DS Max. Those two we don't have to mess with. Here's what we want, that BS lighting shader property, all right? 41 BS lighting shader property. We want to copy this over and put it on this armor instead of where it is now. So in order to do that we're just going to select it in the uh, list 
right? Then you're going to hit Control C. You're going to copy it. Then you're going to go over here to the female body underscore one. You're going to select the armor in this one, find it. It'll be 30. This is the armor. I'm going to drop down the list by clicking the little arrow, and where it says BS uh, lighting shader power for this, this one's messed up. We want to get rid of this, so we're going to select it and hit Control delete on your keyboard. That's how you get rid of it. Hold down control and press delete and it'll disappear. Now there's no texture on it. Now we already copied this one, the good one, so we're going to click on uh, anywhere in this window, preferably just click on the armor and hit control V. This is the good one, but it's not on the uh, it's not in the list here. It seems to be down over here, so we want to assign this to this. Uh, in order to do that, this is the hide armor. We're going to select 30 and I try shape and we're going to go over here to this little scroll option we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and you'll see this properties option I'm going to drop that down with that little arrow you're going to select this now look at here you got 35 alright that's the number for this this is the important number for this one it's 35 we're going to select right here where it says none under properties and double click on none and type in 35 and then click off of it and bam now there's a good texture file a good BS lighting shader property reassigned to this armor we do the exact same thing up here since we've already have this copied we don't have to copy it again it's still in our clipboard we just go up here we're gonna select the armor okay it's 30 I'm gonna drop down the menu all right this is the bad BS lighting lighting shader property want to get rid of that remember it's control uh, you select it, then you hit Control plus Delete. Now it's gone. Now let's put the good one in there. Let's select the armor again and hit Control plus V. Let's paste the good one. All right, now we want to take 35 and assign it to this tri shape, which is the mesh. So select the mesh and then go to the scroll wheel. Scroll it all the way down, find properties, drop down properties, and go into where it says none. Double click that the number is 35 so we're going to type in 35 and then click off of it and bam good one now this armor has a fixed texture and a fixed body but remember we wanted the skirt to not be see-through so we wanted to fix that so whenever we are dealing with it you can't see through the armor yeah so let's go ahead and fix that um, I can tell you right now chances are when we see this in game this shoulder pad had a mask on it so it's going to be probably black don't worry about that it's not important for these tutorials we're going to be working with custom armors and they're not going to have these masks on them uh, we just want to see the armor working with the late weight slider and the texture is showing up uh, in the game so uh, let's go ahead and hit file save as now we don't want to save over our female body so we're going to go to our desktop we're going to find our uh, UMP custom armors going to go to data meshes armor hide female final this is curious light underscore zero because it's the top one it's the underscore zero select curious light underscore zero and final and click save and say you want to replace it yes we're going to do the exact same thing to the large body we're going to click file save as you don't want to save over this usually the menu where you got this from will pop up where you can just click on UMP custom armors in this little window go to data meshes armor hide female final and save over curious light underscore one and click save because this is the one body and you want to replace yes alright in the next video we're gonna test this out uh, so I'll see you in the next video